hello and welcome to this another video on direct query and if you remember last video which i posted on this one i discussed how can we connect with direct query and how can we do some row level calculation using sumx the question comes in do we have columns out here in direct query mode and the answer is yes and both uh, options which is one there as a column inside the power query and the column inside the DAX both are available and we are going to do in this one we are going to go to the power query and going to add some major comeback and do it so what I have done is this is you know the page which is available last time we have done it I am going to rename it as a major page because everything was a major and then I am going to copy and duplicate this page and now I am going to call it this is I am going to have customized major so I am going to call it CC and then let's go ahead and remove everything other than quantity we don't need it right now we don't need anything other than category so i'm going to remove it okay we are going to bring new majors and uh, we have done some naming last time m so we going to take care that you know we go new calculation name. so now we go here and there is transform data is still available with direct query also so let's see what does it offer to us and as soon as we open it it says okay you can refresh this data and we go to sales okay now under the add column it has have this custom column available for us and we are going to add this okay so this data is available and we know we want gross sales first of all and so we add it and we start calling it gross sales cc and this is what uh, we wanted and what was the formula quantity it suggested star the price this is what we need okay well and good this column is added another custom formula i need and this time I need the formula which is basically discount and this is discount again I'm going to call it discount CC because uh, we are creating these custom columns and we are going to differentiate so again our formula would be same as gross sales here it is allowing us to use gross sales CC but what we are going to do is again we are going to do it same way that like we have done last video quantity into um, price multiplied by discount you want know, to be at same way and divided by 100 well done so this is another column which we have okay so we have this and last time we created a major let's see this is was offering us that you can you can subtract these major so we are for the net sales we are going to use the existing column so we say net sales and we are going to call CC because we have created these custom columns and we ask it okay give us gross sales minus the discount and let's see does it say on discount the, the amount which we need and we say okay and we go here to the home and say close and apply and let's see does it take because power bi is going to tell you when you say close and apply whether it's applicable or not but it seems like all of them are applicable and let's see go ahead and add these numbers so you can see this gross sales is not coming as uh, it's coming as like that one so it's coming as a this one and use you see this is not having a correct data type right now if we go ahead and uh, go to the uh, click here and go to the property it is showing is a text data type okay might be committing mistake look let's go ahead and add the other majors also and then i'm going to tell you what need to be done and what could not be done so i go here okay discount cc again and we have one more major which is we have created which is net sales cc and if you go here and look at these so you don't see option to sum it up so definitely major data type is the column data type is not correct we go back to the transform data and now what we do is we go back to the sales and we go to this column and we try to cover correct this okay so we say no this should be a whole number and the moment we do it they say this step is not supported in direct query mode so switch to import mode we can't do it so we revert it we say close and apply so will it not work no it's not like this now the trick here is you go here and it allows you to change it here and we say whole number and we say yes you want to do it we go and do it for net sales also whole number And we have this discount CC 
which is again here and we are going to do make it as a whole number everything is whole number now and now we'll go back to this table and just quickly change the aggregations now we say this is some nothing happens because there is still one which is unsummarized and we call that all three as sum now and you see the number has changed and now this is time to compare and now this time we have made them whole numbers uh, so number could be a bit different at the decimal place level so let's say uh, we have this equal server where we have this okay the number is matching now this count should be some uh, now this number and this is yes 157 ending with this one and now this number should be some uh, 89 and 50 and then we go back and look at this number this same number this is bit because we have made it whole number it seems like bit more so what we are going to do let's say we go to discount for cc and then see if we make it as a decimal number does it going to make a difference for our final calculation we make this as a decimal and we go ahead and make net sales also as a decimal number and we are going to increase the decimal places also to look at it so and you see we started getting that same number out here so it means that you can use the custom column which is one inside the power query or edit query mode or data transformation mode what we call and you can go ahead and do your calculations out there and bring that even in the direct query mode see we don't have any model view here uh, data view here and still we are we have a modeling view. we don't have the data view here and then this is the direct query mode we are continuing to work and we are able to create columns out here and can we create the columns it's showing the new column icon can we create those columns will those calculation be correct we will have another video for that thanks for watching this thank you